Greetings agents, today we'll be analyzing a brief entry that reveals the humanity behind the administrators of the foundation, a supposedly explained anomaly which the classification tells the story of its existence itself. User 059 is playing SCP-970-X, clearance level 05. Item number SCP-970-X, object class explained. Special Containment Procedures, N.A. Description SCP-970-X was the sudden death of Level 3 researcher Dr. Amelia Jones on March 24, 1999. Dr. Jones was working inside 46 safe SCP wing before reporting that she felt lightheaded. She was then transported to rest inside 46 medical bay and taken for examination, but personnel found her disease shortly after she laid herself down. Dr. Jones' previous medical examinations documented her as healthy. No contact with any anomalous objects were made around the time of her death. The toxicology report revealed no poisons present in her body. The SCP classification and investigation into SCP-970-X was directly ordered by O59. Site 46 was placed under lockdown until the cause of SCP-970-X was located and neutralized. Safe class SCP objects were to be used to resuscitate Dr. Jones. Addendum 970-X-A Notice to Site 46 from the O5 console on March 24, 1999. The lockdown and investigation into SCP-970-X are no longer in effect. The document will be reclassified, and all directives from O5-9 regarding SCP-970-X are to hereby be permanently dismissed. Dr. Jones' death has been determined to be sudden arrhythmic death syndrome and does not merit further SCP status. Addendum 970-X-B Notice to 059 What the? Did you think you were doing, 9? You disrupted the operations of an entire site over a single researcher. On top of that, you threatened the lives of several SCP objects. Absolutely unacceptable. Now the ethics committee is getting on our... over it. I have arranged a disciplinary hearing with the rest of the council. Until then, your privileges have been temporarily revoked. 053 Access SIPnet email? One new message. Does the Black Moon howl? 2059 From 051 Subject Time to move on. You have looked at this file for six years now, John. I know how much you love her but you have to let her go. Sometimes people just die when we don't even want them to. I know one of the reasons you joined the council was to be able to protect her. You did so even if she had to forget you. Just know that you did your best. I will continue to defend you from the rest of the council, but you need to move on. Amelia would have wanted that. Otherwise, you may face censure, along with the removal of all your memories with her as a result. I'm sorry. The administrator warned you that this life was not easy. Take care of yourself, John. And no. Despite their many atrocities, even the administrators of the SCP Foundation have personal interests they're willing to go to great lengths for. This entry shows that the absolute power of the O5 console allows them to directly manipulate SCP documents, to the point of manufacturing entries and altering records. How much of the information they share with their personnel has been manipulated for their own purposes? Is the survival of humanity, which they so often use to justify their methods, subject to this same personal bias? We can only hope to catch mistakes like this in time and continue exposing their unethical practices. Help us in this effort by leaving your comments and suggestions below. I am Virus Disanonimo, we are the GOC, and you have been informed.